Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your short breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. A 1982 law, which makes it illegal to threaten the president or their immediate family, refers to, quote, the wife of a former president during his lifetime. That wording implies that the president must be male and that their spouse must be female. Well, and so far in American history, indeed, that has always been true. Yet Kamala Harris is currently the first woman vice president, only one heartbeat away from the presidency. Uh, at least according to current betting odds, three of the top eight contenders for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination are women. And 2020 saw the most successful openly gay presidential candidate in American history, Pete Buttigieg, a man married to another man. The 21st Century President Act would remove all gendered words and terms from that 1982 law. Instead, simply referring to a president and their surviving spouse. It was introduced in the House by Wisconsin Democratic Representative Mark Pocan. Now, supporters argue that the decades-old law has failed to keep up with the modern evolution of gender roles in the political sphere. Opponents counter that the bill is only progressive messaging that wouldn't really change anything. After all, it's not as though a Secret Service agent would realistically refuse to protect a woman president because the law technically refers to the president as him. Well, that's the 21st Century President Act. Now, if science fiction has taught me anything, it's that we need to enact another bill saying that the president can also be a villainous cyborg bent on destroying humanity called the 22nd Century President Act. 